Um, we only have one or two labs in the country here at, at USM. I'm the director of the, the tree ring science lab that we have. Don't let the casual attitude fool you. Tommy Patterson is a big deal, and he does the science to prove it. So what we do in this lab, uh, we, we do all things tree ring science. And so um, we have all the instruments to sample trees. We don't have to cut down an entire tree to look at the tree rings. Um, so this would be probably a pretty destructive method. That's right. No need to chop down a tree to see its age. Instead, Patterson sets out to find trees and cores them. By using a pencil-sized tool, he can pull a pencil-sized tube of wood out. In the lab, they take a high-resolution image of that core, and then the science begins. Then on a project uh, to assign some construction dates for three properties in northern Mississippi and to maybe figure out if they're of Chickasaw origin. The biggest problem? It's poplar. And in order to figure out the age of the tree, the scientists need something to prepare it against. Well, there's, it's hard to find 200 plus year old poplar in the region that we're working with. And so we're doing a really good job of all the material from the houses dating together but we're struggling to find these re what we call reference chronologies. For now, Patterson and his team are working to find better reference points. But that's science. Science doesn't always provide the answer. Um, we go through all the steps to get there, but every now and then we just we can't figure it out and we put our hands up and say this is the best we can do.